Yo, what's up, my YouTube Gaines community? I'm back. It's your boy Gaines bringing you another episode today. Today I got legs. About to get it in. But first, what's on feet? Good question. You already know I'm matching. Today I got these Kobe 9 Elite Christmas candy canes. I love squatting in these Kobe 9 hot tops. They're so beautiful. Kobe logo, the bottom. Looks just like a candy cane, don't it? Already. But back to the topic. Let me go ahead and take these glasses off. I'm done trying to look cool, although I am cool. Cool as Nest T. Before we get started with this leg day, I just want to say thank you to my loyal subscribers. Thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate y'all. If you're new and you're just tuning in to my channel, hey, please hit that subscribe button. Everybody else, like and comment as well, and hit that bell so you can be notified every time we release something. As you can see, my son, my boy R3, who's normally beside me, he's not here again. He's still on vacation. He'll be back probably about, <clears throat> excuse me, probably about another week. But uh, this is what he's doing. See, he's having fun doing his thing out there, enjoying the water, enjoying the sun. I'm still here though, let's get this in. All right, so let's go ahead and get this show going. So before I get these warm ups in, I just want y'all to know I already did all the necessary stretching for my legs so that I can get low and uh, not have any issues. But if I do run into some issues, what I typically do is do another set of those particular stretches. Now, what stretches are they? Good question. So if you're interested in learning the type of stretches that I do before I hit my legs, then uh, stay tuned because I got another video coming soon regarding that exact subject because sometimes we can be way too tight and we're trying to squat and it just doesn't feel right. We're going to the side, you know, what have you. But so let's talk about distractions real quick. There's so many distractions in this world, things that can keep you from your prize. Okay. For example, as I'm recording this particular video for YouTube, my lawn guy decides to show up. Now, granted, he usually comes every two weeks, which today is probably the day, I think. I gotta check my calendar. But um, anyways, he usually comes in the morning. Well, long story short, as I'm recording, he pops up. Well, I had to put my recording on hold because the last thing I wanted was to have a lawnmower and a weed eater and a blower going on in the background all that extra noise, you know. I mean, it's bad enough. I got dogs barking in the back. There's this little puppy across the street. He loves barking. I don't know, maybe if I just notice it more when I'm trying to record. But it seems like he or she knows when I'm recording because they love to distract the heck out of me. And, you know, it just kind of takes your mind game off, your focus off because, you know, so much going on and you're trying to get the right quality content out and then you got all this stuff going on. Anyways, I say, that to, I say that to say this. As always, the disclaimer is, I am in a garage, so the noise in the background, please disregard it, I apologize. So let's go. I'm gonna hit two sets of warm-ups. Alright, so I did my warm-ups. If you notice in my first warm-up video, I was going a little crooked, so I was still pretty tight, so I had to do a couple of adjustments and, uh, you know, a couple of other stretches to get that fixed. But um, anyways, yo, it's, it's difficult trying to come back from a distraction like that earlier. Like, I came in the gym focused and ready, 
I had everything laid out in my mind as far as how I wanted to do what, certain exercises, the things that I wanted to talk about, and that distraction just completely flipped things around and just kind of ruined it for me. And so, anyways, I, I'm gonna get back on my game. I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna improvise here a little bit, but um, that's, that's life, you know? You, you just gotta keep focused and try to, try to keep moving forward, put your best foot forward, and uh, just adapt. It's all about adapting. Things are not always gonna be laid out the way you want them to be. Things are not always gonna be this here, that there, and everything's perfect and hunkadory. That's just not the way it works. I'm sorry, that's not life. So, uh, you know, just bear with me. I'm gonna get through this. We're gonna get through this, and uh, it's definitely gonna be something that we can take from and learn, whether it's, you know, regarding working out or just things in life in general. Just gotta keep moving forward, and I could have easily just shut it down and said, you know what, just forget it. Uh, I don't wanna work out today. I'm gonna just do it tomorrow or something, but uh, man, heck with all of that. I came to get some gains, you know what I'm talking about? Let's go. So as a perfect example, that last video that just got cut off, well, I don't know if y'all probably noticed by now, but I used my iPhone to record, and distractions. Mother freaking phone rings while I'm doing my squat. Go figure. I just wanna punch something. Let's try this again. Tell you. Today's just not the day. All right, game face back on. I recalibrated. I'm sorry. I let the distractions get the best of me, but um, I got three sets of my working weight with this squat, and then we're going to move on, all right? Six to eight reps. distracted that last set wasn't my working set so I'm doing this deload right now where basically a deload means sometimes as you're progressing you come to a standstill now you can change your reps sometimes or if you're still struggling and you can't meet let's say you're trying to do uh, you know eight reps of 300 and well each time you do a set you keep failing you can't get eight you're only getting four or five or three and you do this multiple times and you keep failing, well, you can try that same weight next time, next workout day, and then if you keep failing, then sometimes it's good to do a deload. And the deload just basically means you drop the weight and work your way back up to that particular weight, you know. So if I was doing 300 and I failed, then maybe I'll drop it down to 245 and, uh, you know, do six to eight reps, maybe eight to 10 reps, depending on the actual workout structure for that day. And then gradually progress from workout to workout till I can get back to 300. And sometimes that's just what your body needs just to recalculate, uh, excuse me, recalibrate. And uh, you know, just so you can get that, that strength back up. So anyways, I said that to say uh, 245 is actually my working weight because I've been deloading. I got stuck at 315 a while back and uh, I just said, you know what, screw this. I'm gonna do a deload. So um, yeah, anyways, yeah, that's what I'm doing, all right? <laughs> Man, I'm all jacked up for today, y'all. I apologize, but I'm jacked up. You know what I mean? I'm jacked up. Anyways.
right, so that was six. So I'm gonna do that two more times, and then we're gonna go on. I'm kind of dragging it along already too long, you know what I'm saying? And uh, man, <laughs> well, since I've been discussing distractions so much, I guess it's safe to say that'll be the theme for today. Distractions and their detriment to your overall success. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, like I said, in life, life always throws you curveballs. Or like they say, when life hands you lemons, make lemonade. I don't know, just do whatever you can do to get through and get and attain those particular goals that you're trying to reach, okay? For this particular case, it's working out. That's what my page is about. Getting the gains, constantly being on the grind so that you don't short yourself, you know, when it comes to results and distractions come. Maybe you get called into work on the day that you should be off and you had planned to work out. So just work out tomorrow or later that evening or, you know, just make it up somehow, some way. Just don't kill yourself over it if you can't for whatever reason. Just, you know, tomorrow's a new day. Just get yourself back in there. Just don't skip the gym when you have control over it, is what I meant to say. Push and strive. Distractions are gonna come. They're inevitable. But what you do with those distractions and how you overcome them is what makes you or can break you. So at the end of the day, what's it gonna be? Are you gonna let your distractions get the best of you? Or are you going to make the best out of the distractions that are set before you? All right, I got 305 right here. Try to do one to three, and then we're gonna move on to something different. Bar deadlift. Knocking these deadlifts out. I already did one warm up. About to go in and get another set. What I usually do is gradually progress in weight, do one to three, and then go up in weight till I hit my top set, top weight. So let's get it, let's grind. I'll go ahead and add some weight and then keep going. Moving right along, my last set was 242. This is 312. I'm gonna do three to five again. If you're interested in learning about this bar, it's 62 pounds. You can learn all about it down below in my description in my toolkit. Also, you can learn about the bar that I was using to squat, which is the Titan Fitness Bison Bar. Let's knock it out. Set was 312, added 50, 362. 
One to three. So I threw my footing off, but no excuses. Still got it once so. though. Alright, y'all, we're winding down. We almost coming to close. So that was 362. I'm about to add another 50, but before I do that, I'm gonna flip it over so that I can grab the bars a little higher, which is similar to a rack pull. You'll see what I mean. Kill. This is 412. Hex bar. Yeah. Concentrate. Life work. All right, y'all, so we wind it down. This is the last thing. What I've been doing lately is adding this rope to the end of my workouts, followed by a superset of whatever that workout was that day. So for instance, I might do 100 rope skips, maybe three or four sets. But at the end of each one, I'll throw the rope down and maybe do a curl or a pull up. Or for this instance, today, since it was leg day, I'll do some squats or some jumping squats. And uh, without further ado, let me show y'all how to do it. I won't do a hundred just for the sake of the long video. Nothing fancy. challenge yourself. That's how you get the gains. So I'll do that probably three or four more times and then call it quits for the day. So we finally made it. We're at the end of this beautiful episode of distractions and how they can cause ruckus in your life. Anyways, if you know anybody who's struggling with distraction in their life, whether it be to get in the gym or what have you, just you know share this video to them and uh, let them know you know that there's people out there trying to help trying to motivate you know my channel is here basically for those people who are struggling to, to get in the gym but also trying to figure out what exercises to do and how to do them how many reps and you know yada 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 so my content is for you guys and I appreciate you once again if you only knew how many times I deleted so many videos just to get this thing to go through today you know I had so many deleted videos that I just didn't like. They weren't up to part of me, you know. Like I said, before I started working out, my mind was set on today. I had everything lined up on exactly the content that I wanted to convey, you know, everything I wanted to lay out. Perfect, you know, but then things happened, distractions came about, caused me to completely change. I had to call an audible, but we're here. We made it to the end. My legs are poop right now and uh, I'm pretty tired. So I just want y'all to know to keep going and keep growing. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, it's right here. If you wanna follow my boy, his Instagram will be right here. Just remember, I'm here to help. If you know anybody, share my video with them. Let them know that I got them. If you like what you saw, please comment, please subscribe, please tap that bell so you can be notified every time I release something, all right? Until next time, we out.